All right, so now that we finished uh, the core elements of this application, which are the four CRUD operations for the to-do list, so creating uh, tasks and updating, re and then getting them from the database and finally deleting them. So now the only thing that's left is the authentication layer. We want to be able to authenticate users to create their own tasks. So in order to do this, we're gonna have to essentially create some users in the database and be able to log them in and link all of these uh, tasks to uh, to a certain user. But before we write out some functions, let's go back to our uh, admin UI in pocket base and make sure you're on the tasks uh, collection right here and click on edit collection and then go to this API rules. Now these API rules that we mentioned at the beginning are a set of rules that we give this API so that we can restrict access to certain clients or certain users essentially. In this case, we wanna be able to restrict access to this task if the user is signed in to the application. So to do this, it's very simple and very easy. Let's go to the documentation and underneath the API rules and filters, you wanna go down to examples. And as you can see, it already has a snippet ready for you. So allow only registered users is uh, this code right here. Let's go back to the admin UI and paste it right here. And what we're telling it essentially is that only users who are logged in with a certain ID are allowed to uh, perform these operations. So let's try doing this right here. So list and then view. It's pretty much the same across all the operations. So save changes. Now if we go back inside our v inside our uh, React application, hit refresh. You can see right now nothing shows up no matter what because uh, like like I said, this API rule means that only uh, authenticated users are allowed to uh, do anything with tasks. So now inside our pocketbase.js, it's time to create some functions to log in and log out and sign and create a new user. So to do this, we need to check first if the user signed in. So we're gonna create a Boolean right here and export it. So const is user valid. And now we are going to access the pocketbase client to get the boolean values, so client.authStore. And then you have several several objects right here. We only need the model, uh, sorry, not the model. We need the is valid for now, but we might need the model uh, at some point down the road. And we're gonna use this later in our application side, our, uh, side our root layout. So now we need to create an asynchronous function to log in. So async, async function log in. I take in two parameters, username and a password. And then inside right here, what we're gonna do is await that is gonna be client.collection tasks and then auth with password method. And this auth with password, we're gonna take in both of these parameters. So username and password. And that's pretty much it for the login. For the logout, it's uh, it's just as simple as uh, calling the clear method. And we don't need to make it asynchronous because it's really not an asynchronous function. So uh, gonna be sign out, no parameters, absolutely. And the sign out will be client.authStore and then dot clear. We're basically clearing our uh, auth store from the uh, browser's local storage. So that way um, the application will know that there's no authenticated user, the user is logged out. Finally, we're going to log them in. So export async function, sign up. Excuse me, we're going to create a new user. So to do this, it's very simple. All we have to do is now await client auth store, client dot collection tasks. Instead of auth with password, we're going to create, and we're gonna pass in uh, some data right here. So const data, username, username, and then password, then password confirm will be the same password that we, uh, that the user has entered. So now that's done, we can pass in the data in the create method. And yeah, that's all it takes for these three uh, authentication functions. Now we need to update some of the existing functions. So create task will take in the users, the user ID. So uh, it's going to be PB or actually client, client dot auth store dot model, and then the ID of the authenticated user. Now, ideally we could put this in a variable, but it's going to throw us an error if it's null, and then we're not gonna be able to 
carry out the login and the application will stop working pretty much so we can copy this and paste it inside here do the same for the toggle task now let's go back to all right that is for our pocket based js now we just need to go back inside our root layout but before we do our root layout we need to go back to the app.jsx and uh is user valid I'm going to import that and ask it hey if this user is if the user is signed in then go ahead and stay on the home page otherwise redirect me to the login page so we're going to choose the navigate component automatically imports from react route or dom and then navigate to log in self-closing tag and it automatically redirected us to this login page right here now the logic inside this login page will be very similar to create tasks so let's go back to our create task we're going to copy all of this and we're going to make some changes once we paste them inside the login um, let's go right here paste i'm going to change a couple of things right here this title right here will be a uh, username and this password this navigate is redundant or we actually could keep it but instead so i'm going to get rid of them all right instead of create task first we're going to get rid of this username so if username or the password is empty we're going to change this method to invalid login credentials and do nothing after that now we're going to import our login method from pocket base and it's going to take in two things, the username and then the password. And we're going to change one of them to be the password right here. So the second one type is going to be password. And this is going to be password. Do the same right here for the placeholder above. Set function to set username, password. And pretty much everything stays the same now. Right here, the icon is going to be continue. And also, I need to change this to log in as existing user now down here we could uh go ahead back to google symbols website and paste in the login icon but i found that it's pretty easy to do when you can do it with any other when any other icon which is recommended of course but uh since the the name is login we can go ahead and do that there we imported the use state all right and there is our login icon you have the username and the password now finally we're going to take all of this logic right here and uh, paste it inside our sign up. But this time we we're gonna have to do less changes because it's gonna be very identical. So login as existing user, this should say create a new account. All right, now these buttons will not do anything right now because uh, we haven't wrapped them inside a uh, link component. So, so I'm gonna quickly go ahead back to the sign up. And as you can see, I have created a new account. Now back inside our root layout file, inside the uh, layout folder, we're going to wrap this uh, button right here. So link tag, and this link will uh, redirect us to a page called login and paste it. Now we're gonna do the same thing right here. So X cut and then to sign up. And then there's one last thing I need to do is that I want to render this uh, part right here conditionally according to whether the user is logged in or not. So to do this, uh, all we need to do is put them inside uh, braces like these and wrap them inside uh, React Fragments. So cut, React Fragments, and then paste. And on top right here, we are going to import the is user valid uh, value right here. So if the user is not valid, we're going to render these two elements below right here. And then colon, if if the user is logged in, we're going to actually take this button right here and then paste it. And instead of sign up, this is going to say log out. And this button specifically will have an on click method. So on click and the on click method will be sign out like we defined it in the pocket base file. Now one thing I forgot to do inside the sign up function is that once the user signs out we need to be able to refresh the page automatically so we're going to type in window dot location dot refresh uh, I mean reload and we also should should do this inside our um, 
login function. All right, so now at this point, we should be able to create a new user. So see, please fill out this field. And we get this over because it's a required field. So I'm gonna put in some random stuff right here. Now, if we click continue. So inside our file, our pocket-based file, I made a very silly mistake with the login right here. This should say users instead of tasks in both the login and the sign up function. So another mistake I also made is that I forgot to change this from login to sign up because we're signing up users without logging them in technically. So now if we give this another shot, hit continue. Now also try to navigate this user to the home page. So we're gonna import the use navigate hook again. Now I know I said we don't need it, but it didn't work, but it didn't work the last time we got rid of it. So we're gonna try this one more time. So navigate to the, to the home page right here. Now we're gonna log out and it redirects us back here and we're gonna log back in, continue. Now we should give it like a few minutes until it refreshes and it doesn't redirect us, but we can still uh, see the task. So we need to link this task to our account, the one that we just created right now. So to do this, let's go back to our users. First, we're gonna edit collection, not, not the users, excuse me. Let's go back to tasks and then edit collection and make sure this user property is, um, is required. So not empty and then click, um, Done, save changes. Now we're gonna update this record, open picker, and then select this uh, username, hit save selection, and now click save changes. All right, so our uh, task is now connected to this uh, user right here. So if I went ahead right now and created some tasks, so let's see A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So yeah, like I said, we're gonna take care of this loading thing, but in a few moments, now we just need to log out. Let's say you want to create a new user, so I don't know, because just because I'm a family guy and a fan, Peter Griffin, we're going to try logging in instead. All right, uh, let's go back to the home page right now. And uh, we still see it because remember, we need to link our user to the task right here. There's one thing we made in the API rules is that every single user uh, that is logged in can see all of the tasks, regardless of who created it. Instead, what we want to do is let the user who created this task um, be the one who can view his own task. So user.request.auth.id as such. So user.id and hit save changes. Back inside our application, if we refresh, you can see our, uh, see we have a clean slate right now. Now that we have a user have a different user logged in. If we try to create a task, some random gibberish again right here, only the um, only the tasks that are specific to this user are displayed on the web page or the web application. Now there's one last thing that I promised you in the, er in the beginning that I would do is let's go back to our to-do list. We're gonna add a loading state. So const loading and then set loading and initially it's going to be false. And then we're going to add an if statement saying, if we don't have any tasks yet, we're going to hit, we're gonna put an exclamation mark right here. If we don't have any tasks, we're going to set loading to true. Otherwise, uh, keep it false. So set loading is false. And inside our JSX template right here, let's Cut. And now for the loading state, we're going to put a put a P tag or actually an H1 tag that says loading and then three dots. If it's loading, then display this. Otherwise, just go ahead and display all of the tasks. Now, if you remember, this get tasks actually turns a promise and then there's a den right here. So uh, what we can do inside here. So let's see, we can put a bracket right here and then set loading instead of true. It could be, we're going to make it false. So set loading is false, add a semicolon. Now, if there are no tasks yet, so we can comment this out, refresh. We still don't get it. Let's put the set loading inside right here. So set loading is true. It's instead, replaces task with loading. What we're doing is we're going to use this loading and then uh, I'm gonna use the set function inside the use effect because remember that this get returns does all the fetching and then uh, changes the value of tasks to uh, the 
array that we get from pocket base. So first up, we're gonna set loading is true. And then inside, uh, once, the, once we get all the tasks, we can go ahead and say set loading is now a false value right here. One last thing I wanna do is uh, add some margin bottom of two, for example, so that there's space right here. There's a little bit of space between the button and the icon. Actually, let me make this four. Loading, there you go. Let me show you again. There's some space right here. And yeah, that is pretty much it. That is that is the pocket base course. Um, we're pretty much done with the application. Now, remember, I, I'm going to post this uh, final project on GitHub inside the final project branch. Branch. So if you want to see the final result, try it out for yourself. Make sure everything is okay. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to uh, get notified about new content. And I'll see you next time.